Chapter 6 The elevator continues to descend, lower and lower. My ears pop a bit and my stomach tilts on its side. Just how far does this thing go? And why so far? Finally, the elevator coasts to a stop and the doors slide open again. Nothing but pitch blackness gazes back at us. Oh, this is great, Pete mutters. I have to admit it's not very comforting. We stand there for a bit, trying to let our eyes adjust to the darkness, but they don't very much. And when they do, there isn't much to see anyway. Just a silver metal floor stretching away from the elevator entrance into the patchy dimness beyond. Nuh-uh, Pete says. No way I'm going in there. He makes to push the elevator button again, probably in hopes it'll bring us back up to the canyon surface, but I playfully slap his hand away. Oh, come on. What's a little adventure, scaredy cat, Sue? Who's scaredy cat, Sue? He asks in a slightly wobbly voice. Here we go again. I don't know. Just figured it describes you perfectly, and I have to say I think it does. I gingerly step out of the elevator and Pete lets out a small gasp, but there still isn't much to see. Ugh. I run a hand along the smooth metal wall to the side of the elevator. What are you doing? He asks. Looking for a light switch. But there isn't one, so I try the wall on the other side. Aha! There's one here, so I give it a quick flick, and bright light washes the area, causing me to squint. The elevator opens into a large open space full of metal walls, floor, and ceiling. The wall to our left boasts a phrase in huge gold shiny letters smack dab in the middle of it, Magnum Health Lab SE. I point it out to Pete. Magnum Health? Isn't that Mom's company's biggest competitor? Yeah, I think so. His voice comes out sounding super small, though it might be because he's still in the elevator. And Lab SE, what does that mean? Beats me, but based on how this place looks so far, I think it's some kind of advanced laboratory. Maybe even a top secret one like you suggested, considering it's buried pretty far underground. More good points. Then Pete staggers backwards as he let out a scream that echoes in the whole area. My heart rate spikes, all the hair on my body standing on end. What? What is it? He points to the other side of the room from the gold letters. What looks to be a long metal desk stretches across it, Magnum Health's official logo hanging on the wall behind it. So this must be a reception room of some kind? The logo is made up of two Magnums whose long barrels are crossing each other, a pill for a bullet firing out of each. I'd recognize it anywhere since it's on TV so much. Probably as much as farm course, but that's definitely not what's got Pete all in a tizzy. Sitting at the only chair behind the desk is clearly a human corpse. It's slumped across the middle of the desktop, the side of its pale, waxen-looking head on top of it, facing our direction so we can see its unblinking, unseeing eyes. It's in such a warped, gruesome state that I can't even tell if it's a man or a woman. Goosebumps thread along every part of my body as shivers continually surge up and down my spine in vigorous bolts. Holy crud! This is the freakiest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. What in the flaming gates of heck is going on down here?